Hey everyone, thanks for coming back for some cleaning motivation. Okay, so you guys know before I get started, I like to light and diffuse some good smells, grab some caffeine, and turn up the music because that's how I get through most things in life. I've been hooked on the Premier Protein in the Flavor Cafe Latte because the coffee is already in it and it tastes so good. It is later in the day and I have already stopped by the Dollar Tree and took my boys to therapy. I have been off on my cleaning routines since we have been doing so much construction and spending our spare time camping and on the water. So I haven't really stuck to my normal routines and that's why my house is so out of control. I like to start off in each room by decluttering and throwing away any garbage. The last time I did dishes at the sink, a lot of you thought I was washing all the dishes before putting them into the dishwasher, but I only wash the dishes before putting them in the dishwasher if they are really gross and have stuck on food. If you are a 90s baby, then you saw those bowls with the straw. I had those growing up and they were my favorite. So when I saw them at the Dollar Tree, I had to grab a few. And my kids really love them too.
Normally, I clean my kitchen sink last, but it was pretty gross and needed a good clean before I was done with the kitchen. About once a week after I clean the sink, I go in with a magic erase just to remove the built up coffee and tea stains. I actually sprayed the sink and took my son to speech therapy, but the power of editing makes it look like I go nonstop. I do get a lot done in any given day, but I have to clean around my real life. I take many breaks because I have to chauffeur tiny humans to different places all throughout the week, and I also take food and drink breaks. I just wanted to share that because some of you were asking how I get so much done at one time, and I know that putting a video together can make it look like I go nonstop, but again, I'm always working around my life. first started learning to clean when I was a kid, I remember never knowing I needed to wipe down the appliances or the things that sat on the counter, like the coffee pot or the toaster, and I for sure never touched the backsplash. It wasn't until my older cousin showed me one day that I should clean them and why and it has always stuck with me. So in our house, when we clean the kitchen, everything gets wiped down, including the sink. Before moving into this house and having a huge to-do list of projects, I had a solid cleaning schedule in place. I developed a cleaning schedule to help keep me on track and lessen my anxiety about certain areas of my house if it is feeling overwhelming. I knew when that certain area would be clean next so it wouldn't take away my joy. It really came in handy when I was working full time. It also helped me keep up with areas that I normally would forget, like changing the furnace filter or cleaning the filters on the vacuum. I also learned to divide the chores and wrote each chore down specifically, so that way everyone is doing it the same way.
Earlier in the day, my daughter and I quickly stopped by the Dollar Tree because I wanted to find some different cleaning supplies to try, some organization containers for the bathroom, but my Dollar Tree was all out. And my main goal was to get these placemats and put them in my fridge before I picked up the groceries for the week. A subscriber mentioned them to me in a video where I had said that I clean my fridge weekly. I purchased 10 and had to get another one because I was short one drawer. I have cleaned the fridge already since recording this video and I cannot believe how much easier it is to just grab the placemat out and rinse it off in the sink and place it back. It has cut down on time significantly and this is why I love when you guys comment. I am so glad we can bounce ideas off each other. I have been asked for the link to this bench so this bench I was going to show you guys and link it but I did not have a good experience I spent more than I wanted to and it came damaged and the seller did not contact me back and remove the listing after I emailed them so I would never recommend anything that was like that also the slip cover broke and shrank after washing even though I followed the instructions I still truly love it though I store our lunch boxes some cleaning and hand towels and still have room for more my best friend is skilled in many areas including sewing and she is going to make me different covers for the foam pad once i find the fabric i like i also want to change the cover with the seasons until then i have just been using a small throw blanket to cover it the chairs are from amazon i have had them for almost four years now and they hold up well i plan on getting some seat cushions for them While dinner cooks, I move on to the bathroom quickly. I try to get as much done in the bathroom as I can. It has gotten pretty bad since I haven't been cleaning it nightly. I learned it's a lot easier to tidy up the bathroom for 15 minutes each night than it is to spend much longer scrubbing the buildup. There is coffee I spilled half asleep getting ready and told myself I would clean it up later. <laughs> I got a new shower liner from the Dollar Tree and washed my shower curtain.
I will use a magic eraser a few times a month to keep the stains down on my shower. We have all the flooring to replace the bathroom floor and we are assuming we will need to replace the subfloor underneath. So that is a future project. Make sure you are subscribed and the notification bell is turned on so you will not miss my future uploads. I poured this Drano down the sink later that evening. I was just showing you the clip here. I poured it down after we all brushed our teeth so it could sit overnight. After it sits, it has you run warm water through the pipes and my bathroom sink was draining normal by the next morning. So I definitely recommend this product if your sink is backing up. <laughs> After dinner, I felt recharged. I did have an after dinner cup of coffee just to keep my energy flowing. Really wanted to shampoo my rug. My daughter has a chore of loading the dishwasher after dinner, so that is what she is doing while I wipe my couch down with a wet rag and my vinegar mix. I put some vinegar, water, and essential oils into a bucket and wipe my couch down. I wanna be with you. 
I have used my vinegar mix for many, many years. I just started adding the essential oil to cover up the vinegar smell about four years ago. For the longest time, I just dealt with the stinky vinegar smell, not knowing there was a way to cover it up. I love to put lemon and peppermint as well as some oils that say they kill viruses on the couch. I noticed the dollar store had these knockoff Swiffer wipes and they even have their own Swiffer mop which I thought was pretty cool. I got all the kinds to try out that my dollar store had. My daughter told me to mention to you guys that she feels they do not work as good as the Swiffer pad, that you would probably have to use two of the dollar store pads to one of the Swiffer pad. But to think of the price, because it still works out to be cheaper. Pretty smart advice from a 12 year old if you ask me. So I wanted to insert what footage I do have of the living room floor. Thankfully, the previous owners did replace some subfloor throughout the life of this living room and the beams were not damaged at all. So we only had to pay for some subfloor and replace sections. I am blown away by the price of lumber right now, so I am very grateful we did not have to replace all of the subfloor. There was really bad damage anywhere there was a window because the windows were old and leaking so with that comes water damage to the floors underneath most of the windows have been replaced and my husband just needs to go back and fix around the new window so the two by fours don't show and it looks like a normal wall and window Whenever I clean any room, I always start by removing the garbage and then declutter. Then I like to go through and dust everything or wipe it all down. And then I will vacuum and mop. The eyesore of a window you are seeing is going to be replaced soon. And the items outside of the window is the molding that I was sanding and repainting in my last video. They were drying while I was recording this. After the window is replaced, I can find curtains. I have purchased two rugs since moving into this mobile home. It takes me a really long time to decide on items I like, and I was thrilled to get this fluffy thick rug, but it smelled like burnt plastic, and after a few weeks the smell did not go away. I had read other reviews like that before I ordered it and chose to order it anyways, and sure enough it stunk and I had to send it back. I then found this rug for half the price. Even though it looks thin, it's actually really thick and soft. I know you've all seen me cleaning my floors different ways. I decided I did not like the spin mop you saw in my last cleaning video. The heads got dirty so quick and the replacements were expensive. The steam mop is great and I still have it, however it's not the fastest. I prefer cleaning on my hands and knees with a bucket. I feel that's the cleanest way I can clean my floors while still controlling the amount of water that distributes onto the floor. I only do this a couple times a week and normally I use a gardening pad under my knees but my Dollar Tree was out and my last one got ruined. The rest of the time I use either the steam mop or the Swiffer mop to clean my floors.
While my husband installs new blinds, I finish up the day with shampooing my carpet and call it a night. I always look forward to talking to you all in the comments and I am so happy some of you went over to Instagram so we could chat in between videos. I love you all who have made it this far in this video. You truly are the best. That's all for this video you guys. I will catch you in the next one.